At that time, a great persecution arose against the church which was at Jerusalem, and they were all scattered throughout the regions of Judea and Samaria. As for Saul, he made havoc of the church, entering every house and dragging off men and women, committing them to prison. Saul of Tarsus, better known as the Apostle Paul, a violent and arrogant persecutor of the early followers of Jesus, but his life took a dramatic turn following a startling encounter on the road to Damascus. Who was Paul? Some claim he was the founder of Christianity. If anyone uh, could be labeled maybe as a Christian, you might think it's Paul until you back off a bit and look. We think of Paul as a Christian because we're standing on top of 20 centuries of the development of Christianity. The early Christian movement was clearly a Jewish movement. Jesus and Paul, Mary Magdalene, the beloved disciple, they're all Jews. As author of over half the books of the New Testament, Paul casts a long shadow over contemporary Christianity. The idea that, uh, that Paul uh, tried, came to start a new religion is, is uh, about as absurd as the idea is that Jesus came to start a new religion. The dominant reigning view of Paul, beginning in his lifetime and coming down into the early part of the 21st century, is wrong completely from top to bottom. Some scholars are introducing us to an unfamiliar Paul, a Jewish teacher who would be embarrassed by the popular notion that he gave up on his ancestral faith. It's a view that challenges traditional Christian ideas and engages us in a journey of discovery a quest for the real Paul.